Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of... You're squeaking like a motherfucker. Goddamn motherfucking fucking fuck. Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we were on our way out of the Sierra Madre when I discovered that there was a plan that I could have used. A mainly being... Dropping all my stuff at the entrance of the vault, and then looping back around, and then picking it up on my way out while carrying the minimum number of gold bars that I could. That is where it gets dicey a little bit, because I could have brought everything with me, but that required me to actually get rid of every hologram on my way out, which, you know, in that little hologram section, there was one whose emitter I couldn't reach and that would be difficult he would kill me outright if I did everything the way I was doing that said I could have done that I could have possibly done that it would not have been easy but I could have done that that said the strategy that I did use was dropping everything at the entrance bringing back gold bars from the vault and then picking it all up on my way out. Now, I could have picked up 10 with that strategy. I was a bit chicken shit, so I dropped only the minimum number of stuff that I needed, just on the off chance I did need to fight it out. But, I could have carried 10, I ended up carrying 9. That's still a hefty amount. As you can see there, look at that. That is almost 100,000 caps value from all of that. That is awesome. Now, that said, I did run around a little bit, picked up everything I could in the Sierra Madre that was not, you know, in the casino itself, which is now unreachable. In fact, I should probably show you, but this will take forever and a half to get all the way back over there. So, give me a bit of time. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I figured I should probably explain while I'm in the middle of doing this. I've never tried that before. Apparently, it showed up as an achievement on my game, but I don't remember doing it properly, ever. So, I don't know how that worked out. Maybe it was some goofiness from the transfer over from uh, Xbox 360, Xbox One, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't remember getting the achievement. But, apparently, I did get it. And, uh... This was... No, just a long and arduous task in general. And, oh, I could go back in the Sierra Madre Casino. Huh. How about that? Well, shit. <laughs> All right, well, I didn't know I could do that, but I do know that there's probably nothing else I can pick up in here. Or at least not that I know of outright. Huh. At least I, I, like I said, I don't think there's anything I can pick up in here. I think I picked up most of what I could. Huh. This is not what I expected. <laughs> in the slightest. At all. I expected not being able to come back in here. But I do have a good of a good amount of a haul. A, I got the Sierra Madre armor and the reinforced, which will be given to Cass eventually. Uh, probably not the helmet, though. Probably not the helmet because that is, you know, covering the face, and that's the last thing I want to cover on Cass. She is gorgeous. So that's not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to repair that up a little bit. Let's repair this, too, while I'm doing it. Why not? Uh, serum under armor, nope. Uh, let's go to... Yeah, let's use the sexy sleepwear. Fuck it. There we go. All repaired up. All good. Vera's outfit is good. Yep, alright. Dean's tuxedo and dead money jumpsuit. Alright. I'm pretty sure I can't pick up anything else in here. If I'm wrong, I will do that. Because, you know, I might as well. But at this point, this is now the triumphant return to the wasteland. Which has been long the fuck overdue. 
<laughs> because this place is L in a handbasket to go through. Ah. It, it, it's terrifying on normal mode. On hardcore mode, I've never done it before. And that was an experience. That was an experience and a half, let me tell you. But I, after this, I can say I'm more confident with hardcore mode than I've ever been. I, I gotta say, this is the most fun I've had <laughs> just trying to do hardcore mode. And it's thanks to you guys that allow me to keep doing this. Well, give me the, uh, you know, give me the pressure to continue doing it, more or less. This path leads from the Sierra Madre back to the Mojave Wasteland. You are certain you'll never be able to get back here. Are you sure, are you sure you want to leave? I was about to say certain at the same time, and that was stupid of me. There we go. Back to the Mojave Wasteland. We've heard Wasteland. stories of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. You've heard stories of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. This wow. story is different than the others. That's it's weird. all in promise of beginnings. And the ending. Dog forgot himself, as did the voice that raged within him. After their passing, a new voice spoke within the mutant shell. It was difficult for the voice to remember the two it once was. There was the beast, dog, consumed by hunger. And the other, in reverse. The one consumed by control. Both were driven by need for the other. The courier brought them together somehow. Joined the two into one. All that happened at the Sierra Madre was a faint memory to the new personality. Like a flickering light in the clouds of the mind. The new voice did not think of the courier again until the battle at the Divide reached his ears. The battle between the two couriers, beneath the torn skies and the old world flag, each bearing a message for the other. And the mutant prayed the courier that had saved him had been saved in return. Dean Domino. Entertainer, singer, thief, had his last show on the Sierra Madre stage. The heist he spent over 200 years planning fell apart, just as the first, by underestimating his partner's strength. Not long after the courier left the villa, the lights in the theater shut off one by one. Only Dean's hologram remained on the stage, singing silently to an empty room. Still, as consumed as he had been with its riches and ruin, the Sierra Madre had held him captive long ago. Christine, her mission complete. Found new purpose as the Sierra Madre's warden. She watched over it silently by choice. Over time, the ghost people came to see her as one of the holograms. They would watch, silently, as she walked among them. At times, Christine thought of the courier, who had kept Elijah's hand from her throat. The courier reminded her of the other courier she had met in the Big Empty, and wondered if the two had found each other at last. She did not think of them again until she heard the legends of the Divide. The Divide where the two messengers, the two couriers, fought beneath an ancient flag at the edge of the world. You heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead. A city of ghosts, buried beneath a blood-red cloud. A bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. An illusion that you can begin again. Change your fortunes. Finding it, though, that's not the hard part. It's letting go.
and there we go. If you hear that, that's a different message than the one that was playing when you came in. And I will play it for us eventually. But right now, I kind of want to get over here to the drop box and get my complimentary voucher. As well as the 100 chips that would come up regularly anyway. But, let's pop to the radio now. And Mojave Music Radio, no, it was a, uh, Sierra, Aero Madre broadcast. To those who know these joys, the Sierra they don't already have, out Whoa. in the world, That's weird. beyond these walls, that is your chance to begin again. I Wait hope for you'll it. return in happier times. Until I'll start then, it again from the beginning, because it's a little weird. And I will hold you in our hearts. Wait a moment. Before you go, I... We hope you've enjoyed your stay. Farewells can be a time of sadness. Letting go, difficult. As a guest of the Sierra Madre, you know that truth more than anyone. Frederick Sinclair believed one's life could be made anew every day. That fortunes were more than the wealth in your hands. Love. Life. Family. Those to care for, and those who will care for you. To those who know these joys, the Sierra Madre holds little they don't already have. Out in the world, beyond these walls, that is your chance to begin again. I hope you'll return in happier times. Until then, the Sierra Madre and I will hold you in our hearts. Wait a moment. Yep, there we go. Now it loops again. If I can get to the radio again, I can turn it off. There we go. That's a new message from Christine. With Vera's voice. As you can tell, because, you know, how that all went down. And that's about it. That's a brand new message from her about our time out there. Anyway... Now that that's all taken care of, I should grab all my stuff. <laughs> I should. Because I am down to the stuff that I had in the Sierra Madre. And I want to get my good stuff back. I want my Tommy gun. I want my me gun, damn it. Ah! God, it takes forever and a half to walk. It's going to take even longer just to get all this loot offloaded. But, it'll be well worth it. I want to hit that dispenser again before I go, but I want to make sure I know... Ah, there we go. Now it's all being added once again. Okay. That's going to take about three centuries, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, God. <laughs> it's going through all the crap stuff first. Oh, man. Alright. <laughs> oh boy. This is going to take forever and a half. Just look at all of the stuff it has to filter through. Alright, let's uh, see what we can do about the uh, rounds that I need to make. Oh boy. I have a whole bunch of lead. Oh boy. Alright. Let's break down these. There we go. Put them into this. There we go. Huh. Let's uh, swap over to my items so that we can get my good stuff back on. Uh, Kaiser's armor. Oh yeah, that's right. I got it off of his dead corpse. Because fuck him. Ah, I killed him. Uh, yeah, that one works fine. Dapper gambler hat and suit. Oh yeah, I got that off of that uh, one dude. Um, I forget his name. I know he was an agent of si uh, Kaiser. That's it. That's about it. All I remember. Um, get all my stuff. There it is. Joshua's armor. My good stuff. Because it has critical chance. Which is what's worth it about it. There we go. Perfect. Oop, my ear is itching like a motherfucker. There we go. Alright, I had to <laughs> go through all of this stuff. Just to make sure I have everything that I need on. Alright, there it is. There's my me gun. Alright, put that over there. 
Yeah, I don't really need that. Uh, light shining in the darkness. I, actually, that goes over here. Um, where's my katana? Where's my katana? There we go. Oops, doodle. That's, that's it. There we go. Cosmic knife. I picked up a lot of those so that way I could keep making more of the goofy versions of it. Uh, caravan shotguns. Don't really need that as much. Uh, got a couple of automatic rifles. The assault carbine, which is just slightly better than this. Just slightly. Although I might end up selling this one. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really worked out which stuff I'm selling and which stuff I'm not. Uh, little devil. There we go. Uh, okay. Now I have to go through everything because this is going to take an hour and a half. That's damn. <laughs> Survivalist rifle. There we go. Perfect. Trail carbine. Down here. Alright. Now that's all equipped and good. Let's look through all the other stuff that I need to deal with. Good God. <laughs> I have two of Benny's sweet key. Really? That's weird. Alright. Um, I just need to make sure that I have everything I could need. Uh, let's pop this on just to get make sure my limbs are at full. Oh, and I found it in a radiated scotch somewhere. I don't know where I found that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't right remember. Okay. Now let's... Holy shit, I have so much purified water. Holy shit. Okay. Um, I have a fuck ton of stim packs. I almost don't need stim packs anymore. <laughs> almost. Key phrase. Um, don't need weapon repair kits anymore, if that's any indication. And oh, it's a doctor's bags. So that's what I needed. I have twenty of those, and I could always get more out of this. Oh, combat knife! Look at that. Never even noticed that was there. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna get a couple more of those. Whoa! I could get seventy. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, don't need that many. There we go. Good stuff. And it's going to be filtering through all the stuff I have for about five years. Uh, there we go. Oh, come on. I wanted the survivalist rifle. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Holy shit, I didn't realize I had 400 rounds of that. Okay, let's uh, break down some of this stuff and uh, make some more good stuff. Uh... There we go. That's not necessarily how I wanted that to work, but that's fine. Um, I decided I was going to do these rounds, right? I, I don't quite remember. Yeah, it was these sort of rounds. Okay. Was making sure. Alright. Uh, let's pop one of those in there. Um, let's break down the 12 gauge. That should give me more ability to make stuff. Alright. Make all of these. Or at least all I can. Um, do I use anything with that round? I don't think I do. Uh, yeah, I have the Little Devil, which runs on uh, 12.7, which is basically 50 cal. The Survivalist Rifle runs on the same ammo. Uh, trail Carbine's the only one that runs on a different ammo than the other two weapons that I have. Yeah, this runs on uh, 45 as well as this. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, good. And I don't need to deal with that ever, really. Um, let's break down this. And make more of these. Um, uh, yeah, I just use the regular rounds for this, right? Not jacketed hollow points. I had to remember what the JHP stood for. <laughs> And it was jacketed hollow points. Okay. Um, don't need 9mm, that's for damn sure. Do not need any of that. Okay. Make some of those. Is there any other rounds that I can make before I leave? Uh, again, jacketed hollow point. Jacketed hollow point for that. 
I'm just looking through to make sure I know what I can make. Because <laughs> I'm just that much of an asshole. Uh, okay. Uh, do I really need to make more of these? I don't really think I do. Uh, let's make some of those and then make some of these. There we go. Because I'm pretty sure Cass is the one that has the 357. If I remember right. So, that'll be a thing later. Uh, Brexo cleaner. Oh yeah, I can clean these knives. That's right, I forgot about that. Uh, make a couple of these. I can make one of these. Okay. <laughs> I can make some of these. There we go. Good stuff. Alright. Is there anything? Yes. There is some left of it. Good. Good gods, this is going to take forever and a half. <laughs> it's still filtering through all of the crap that I have. Oh my gods. It's amazing. I love it. Alright. I just want to carry around the Tommy gun because, oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed you, baby. Oh, I missed you. I missed my me gun. Okay. There we go. Uh, where'd we go? Might as well carry this one out, just in case I'm ambushed as soon as I get out of here. Although I doubt that. I honestly doubt that. I'm gonna drink my coffee real quick. While I'm waiting for literally everything to filter in. Okay, that... That's a noise. That is a disturbing-ass noise. Yeast. Healing poultices wore off. It probably wore off a while ago, but it only just got around to telling me. <laughs> Alright. Upward we go. And no, I'm not going to walk like this the entire way to the next town. No, I have long haul, so I don't need to. I'm just waiting for everything to filter through because I know the game can goof up a bit if I don't. So, I'd rather just wait for it to be done. And doesn't look like there's anything this way. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any enemies nearby. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, nope, nothing. Alright, well, now I know it at least. Uh, let's look at my trail carbine here. That one has a scope. That way I can see better. Nope. And nope. Okay. Alright. It was nice to hear that kick of nothing there, jackass. Stop trying. Because <laughs> sometimes Fallout 4 goofs up and doesn't do that. I usually suspect that that means, oh, there's an enemy in that direction. And then, nope. Nothing at all. Okay. This is going to take forever and a half. You know what? I'm going to end the episode here for right now because at this point I'm just waiting for it to all filter through. And maybe it's done. Hey, it's done! Alright. Well, now we can end it in earnest because it actually <laughs> finished up the shit. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. And eventually getting the fuck into a vendor and selling shit for you.